Okay, so I'm going to show how to disassemble an HP Model 14-BW010NR. So first what you want to do is remove the battery. Just put this into the unlock mode. Alright, and then slide this one over and the battery should pop out. Okay, once you do that you want to remove all the screws. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so once you remove all those screws, open the screen part way, just like this. Alright, then what you want to do is, there's a gap here along this edge. Just get your nails or a pry tool and pull on it, just like that. Go along all the edges, go all the way around, okay. Just do that, alright. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. I can do this with one hand, you guys can should be able to do this with two. Okay. So just go all the way around. Might want to grow your nails out a little bit if you don't have tools. These work like nails work perfectly. Okay, just like that. Almost got it all. Let's see, I'm gonna close it some so when it falls out it doesn't fall too far. Just go all the way around, okay. Just like that. Once you get it all out, you should be able to lift on this. Let's see. Might have to go around the back here as well. Yep, just like that. Okay. There we go. Once you get all of that out, you go from the left side and then lift it this way because all the ports will get caught on it, okay? So that's the easiest way. Now you can see they just reused a design from some other model. So there's actually no CD drive here and there's no actually opening for it. So it actually has a slot for a CD drive. I don't know why they kept this here, but um, yeah. So there's nothing there. They're just wasting the space. Then you got some RAM. It's DDR4. Let me see. I'll show you what the type of RAM. It's upside down. So you can see PC4 2666V. Alright, so you got that. And you can see actually the board had like some place for this is, I don't know if this is for RAM or it could be like video memory. I think it's video memory because there's a spot here for like a video card. Um, you got the keyboard connector, then you got the trackpad connector. And I don't know what this other one's for. It goes underneath. I'm not going to take it out. Then you got the um, cable that brings this USB port over. So to remove this, um, this one, you just pull up on it. And after you pull up on it, don't pull too hard because you can break it. Um, but after you do that, you can just take this cable out. You just lift it out and then put it back in. Um, but yeah, so you can take that one out. And then this one, um, to remove this, you flip this up just like that and then you can slide this out um, to remove the hard drive so I put an SSD in it right now but um, you have to there's one screw over here over the speaker you remove that oh, sorry that's gonna keep beeping I can't turn it off now and then um, to remove the hard drive you have to remove this screw too because I don't know why but they decided to put part of the bracket underneath this piece so you'd have to remove this then you can actually slide this hard drive out, just slide it back, and there you go. And then you can put a new hard drive in there. Alright, so there's the LCD cable. If you want to replace something on the LCD, make sure to hold the power button for like 30 seconds after removing the battery, um, just so it doesn't cause any issues. Then you've got the wireless card, the antennas, with all of them, the antennas you pull from the back and it will pop up this way. Don't try and pull it from the front or you can rip off the connectors. Okay. You can see there's no fan here. You got the little heat sink. And then this is just metal as a kind of air. Um, kind of to increase the surface area, but there's not really even any vents or anything. Yep. But that's pretty much it. There's the speaker connector. And yeah, that's all there is. So you can upgrade the RAM if you want, and you can upgrade the hard drive if you want. Everything else seems to be soldered in. Um, there's this, I believe this is for the charge port, but it goes underneath. Yeah. 
So to remove that, you'd have to take the hinge out and everything. But um, yeah, you should be able to figure that out. If anything, just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.